So if you're a mom with younger kids and you let them use your iPhone, this feature is for you. Sometimes you might let your child use your phone to watch a movie or play a game. And next thing you know, they're on the phone with the CIA. <laughs> to prevent your child from unnecessarily touching the screen, we're gonna activate something called guided access. So let's look at two ways you can use this feature and then I'll show you how to activate it. So for you guys who let your kids watch Netflix, for example, on your iPhone or iPad, we're gonna use that as an example. While guided access is active, your kids won't be able to access notification center, control center, or play with any of the controls like volume up or down. Let's look at the second reason this feature is so important. Uh, I really don't like pop-ups. So this is one of the main reasons why I did this tip because you could be pressing something and it just, you're, you, you're, you end up buying some And honestly, I get it. Kids throw things around. Let me know in the comments if you need me to recommend a good case for you. If they're playing a game and you don't want them going out of the game and clicking on things, when guided access is turned on, your kids can't tap on pop-ups that take them away from the game. They are only able to close the pop-up and go back to the game. So moms, it will be especially important to have guided access turned on, especially if they're playing games on your iPhone. Make sure to give this video a like and share it with someone who might need it. Okay, so let's turn on this feature. Head over to your settings, scroll down to accessibility and make sure guided access is turned on. And if you're a mobile gamer, guided access does a great job of disabling the control center so your fingers don't hit it when you play. 